We are <coughs> not, we don't get any government grants, no federal funding. Everything comes from independent donations from the community. You know, we got to come out the pocket. We do what we do. Uh, we got a, a PayPal account and a GoFundMe account. Um, but uh, so now we are doing uh, these youth events, you know, positive youth events. Uh, we got a hip hop rap concert coming up in July, but next week on the 24th at Newburgh Park from one to five, we're gonna do the Louisville Got Talent Talent Show. Uh, free food, everything's free. Uh, this is gonna be in the name, uh, you know, uh, for DeQuante De Hobbs. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Try to raise some money up for his family. For the people and, that don't know, DeQuante Hobbs was a seven year old that was killed. Uh, has it been a month now? Yeah, close to a month. Yeah. Off of was that magazine? No, yeah. Madison. Yeah, Madison. and uh, we still trying to uh, bring his killer to justice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, we are doing it in the name of, for him. Uh, but that's gonna be one to five, Newburgh Park. And every month this year, you know what I'm saying, you can look forward to something coming from Changing Foundation for the youth. Like I said, I hit different parks and uh, reach out to a lot of youth. We incorporated uh, the Thug Love Program, where I'm reaching out straight to the thugs, you know what I'm saying, and just basically trying to show them, uh, you know, you like I said, using my life as a testimony, I'm showing them uh, how to embrace love, loving themselves so they can love everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're mad at somebody don't mean you got to kill them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, so I'm trying to just show these guys there's other routes and alternatives. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper to walk away. You know what I'm saying? So because we lose two lives. When one get killed, the other one go to prison. We lose two two lives. That's two families destroyed. So, and, and, and what they don't realize is, in all reality, these streets don't love you back, man. Right, right. They don't love you back. That's you can true. put all the love you want in it. You're never going to get that kind of love back. Never. Never. And it's, it's never worth it. You know what I'm saying? It takes three or four seconds to make a bad decision that it costs you the rest of your life. And they need to think about that. So our Thug Love program is trying to reach out to these brothers. You know, crime is inevitable. We ain't going to be able to stop it. But what we can do is try to increase the peace and bring it down. You know what I'm saying? So that's, what, that's our goal with that. So we got a youth outreach, homeless outreach, where we give out clothes, food, on Sundays, we go to uh, 7th of Muhammad Ali from 8 to 9 and uh, the, uh, St. John's Day Shelter. On Wednesdays, we, we go out with another organization called Forgotten Louisville out on River Road uh, and uh, River, uh, the U of L Rowing Club parking lot. And you know what I'm saying? It's like hundreds of homeless. And we talking about the real homeless, the ones that sleep up under the bridges. The skid row type yeah, homeless. Yeah, yeah, not the ones that sleep at waste out of the shelters, yeah. the ones that sleep in the in the streets. Right. So, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's women, it's kids, old people, veterans, you know what I'm saying? So, no, we go out there and feed them, you know what I'm saying? You say how we do it, it's all God. And let me ask you a question, man. And I always want to ask people that deal with the homeless, um, what do you think causes a person to be homeless? Everybody has their own story. People try to put the homeless in one category. It's not, it don't work like that. You got a brother who probably had, a, a guy that probably had a good job, wife, family, everything, and got divorced. When he got divorced, lost everything. He just, you know what I'm saying? Gave up. Yeah, he just, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's different things. You got your ones on drugs, and you got your alcoholic. And, and a big thing you have that I see around the city here, and this city really isn't, as bad as homeless as, like, say, L.A. No, no. But a big issue is mental health. Yeah, I was going to say that. The two biggest reasons why people are out there, you got a lot of veterans that are not getting compensated that's just out there. You know what I'm saying? Then you got a lot of disabled people who's on disability. You wouldn't believe how many people on disability they got a payee who payee is not taking care of them and they homeless. But they getting this big check every month. And then you got your mentally ill. You got a lot of mentally ill people out there that's just homeless. You know what I'm saying? Man, how does that work? I mean, because <clears throat> I mean that's not a, 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 a serious question, but I mean you always hear like when we hear Donald Trump talk, yeah. or we hear even Barack Obama to certain extent, yeah. we hear an emphasis on our military. So how is our military so important? And then these vets come home, and I hear story after story after story of That's vets coming home and it's struggling. It's mm -hmm. been like that since World War One. To me, you know no vet ever, if you served right. for the United States of America, should ever be without food, shelter, a job, and when they come back from doing a tour of whatever, they should be getting free a house. Help. They should at least get a house. Mental health. A home. Well, everything they should get free VA, right? No. No. Oh, that's right. You a vet. Yeah. 
So I'm a vet. Not, I'm a vet. You a vet? Yeah, I was in the Marine Corps. So, so not everyone gets the free VA. Man, you gotta fight for benefits once you get out. And if, if you if you get lucky, you might get like ten percent. And to get a hundred percent, it might take 10, 15 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, 